As we wrap up, I like to do the opposite of shooting hard. We shoot softly, and we ask you to say what? nice things about other wrestlers that, that that you might know. We'll start with a guy who kind of joined your ranks uh, over the last year. Madman Fulton, you faced him a couple times, too. I, uh, t- to be completely honest with you, uh, when he first came to us and stuff, like I was like, man, I don't, I don't know about this guy. But now I can say um, with, you know, with my arms wide open, my heart's <laughs> open to him. Like he's legit one of my favorite people on earth and one of my best friends. How about so Mad Man Fulton is amazing. Not to mention, not only does he have nice hair, but he also has nice boots. He does have nice boots. He does. I interviewed him in person nice uh, in, in Lexington last year, and I was like, hey, those are pretty nice boots. Yeah, I actually those noticed are nice that. Boots. Yeah. Uh, a guy that we mentioned uh, before we went on the air, Larry D. Oh, man. Larry D. Another, another uh, brother from a different mother. Uh, <laughs> I shared a locker room with Larry D for probably the last six years or so. Maybe. Man, time flies. I know I booked him at Rockstar, so may- maybe longer. Uh, but yeah, I can't say anything good. Uh, I can't say anything bad about Larry D. Uh, great guy, um, great wrestler, and even better human being outside the business. A guy that you faced a couple times. He's uh, also well. He's hoping to become a free agent. Mance Warner. Oh man! Again, uh, another guy that. In the younger younger days, uh, when when I got to wrestle him and just to see him to grow to what he is today is just amazing. And I knew he had it in all along. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, one of those things that I could just see in people, but uh, same thing with you know the rappers. You know, you just kind of got to shake shake their inner <laughs> selves out until they finally was like comfortable enough to do that on camera. Uh, a guy that you worked with a ton, and now he's Impact World Champion, Rich Swan. Oh, best friend, best really? friend on earth. Love, love Rich Swan. Uh, a man that can really go all night long for sure. <laughs> uh, Rhino, a guy who passed up a major WWE downside guarantee and was like, "No, I want to contribute to wrestling instead of sitting yeah, at home." Uh, great guy. Uh, like I said, I've had. Uh, had the privilege uh, to be in the ring with him many times. Uh, his gore hurts. <laughs> the way that he told me, he goes, I, I was like, how do you tell the difference between a gore and a spear? He goes, if it's a, if it's a gore, they don't kick out. If it's a spear, they kick out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You don't kick out of that gore. Cut you in half. Also a thing that I appreciate about him, like at the wrestling conventions, he doesn't shake hands. He does the fist bump. He was, he was ahead of it. Like he was ahead yeah. of the, the dirty handshake before COVID. Like three years into my booking, like it was, I seen, I, I kind of did the ultimate warrior thing where I came in week after week. I was like, guys, please just quit shaking my hands. There's three <laughs> rules I made at Rockstar. No F bombs on the mic. I forget the second rule. And the third rule was please don't shake my hand. Just give me a nod or yes. So I was totally ahead of that curve too. So please. And and again, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I know like I know we're at the end of this. Uh, oh, sure. Any independent uh, wrestler that's listening to this, you happen to be on the show with me. While we're during COVID times, for sure, please don't come and shake my hand. Please, like, you can, you can give me, you know, one of these. You Matt, know, Matt Riddle a, said a the way. bro bow. Matt, Matt Riddle said the bro bow like that. Yeah, give me one of those. I'm down with the bro bow. Like, just give me, just give me a nod, you know. Hell, you don't even have to acknowledge my, my being. Like, no heat from me. I don't care. <laughs> 